Good morning, everyone, and thank you for joining me once again on my YouTube and Rumble channels this morning. Today is May the 19th of 2023. I'd like to share another word with you from the Lord today. In the day we are living in, there is much corruption, much chaos, much lawlessness, and the list goes on. We see dysfunction in every facet of our society, and we see injustice taking place. In God's word, he has promised that he will bring justice to the earth. And in this word today, the Lord is letting us know that he has stepped in and he is bringing justice. And this justice does have to do with judgment because the Lord needs to judge the hearts of men to perform his true justice. And so I hope you are encouraged in this day to know that if you have been praying for the Lord to come and bring justice, that he is already on the move to do that. I hope you will be blessed as you hear this word today. It is titled, Justice is Being Executed. I'll begin by reading scripture. Revelation 19 verses 11 through 16. I saw heaven standing open, and there before me was a white horse whose rider is called Faithful and True. With justice he judges and makes war. His eyes are like blazing fire, and on his head are many crowns. He has a name written on him that no one knows but he himself. He is dressed in a robe dipped in blood, and his name is the word of God. Out of his mouth comes a sharp sword with which to strike down the nations. He will rule them with an iron scepter. He treads the winepresses of the fury of the wrath of God Almighty. On his robe and on his thigh, he has this name written, King of Kings and Lord of Lords. In the scripture passage, we can see that the Lord Jesus Christ is coming to bring justice to the nations, that he is coming with a sword to strike down the nations, to rule over them, and to bring justice to all. I'll begin reading this word. Dine with me, rest in me, draw your life from me. I am your help in time of trouble, says the Lord. I am your resting place. I am opening the way before you to walk in and take the land. The giants will be slain. I am moving my army in to take the land out of the hands of the enemy. You will see me at work to apprehend the scoffers and mockers. They will stand in awe as I move in their midst. They will see that I am the Lord and that I am taking back what is mine. I will apprehend those who lord it over the flock, those who exercise their authority to gain the approval of men. I am coming with a sword into the assembly to strike down every serpent in its midst. I will stop at nothing to take my bride back out of the hands of men and present her without spot or wrinkle before the Father. I will gladly execute justice in her midst. I will gladly fling open the doors to injustice and snatch my loved ones out of the hands of the fowler. You have not seen it, but you will see this within your midst. 
the Father has sent me to plead the case of those treated unjustly, says the Lord. Their prayers rise up to me day and night, and I will no longer neglect the salvation of a vast number of souls at the expense of a few who have exalted themselves, and I will no longer tolerate abuse heaped upon those with a willing heart. I have taken you out of familiar circumstances, lifted you up, and taken you out. This has been a work of my spirit. Do not doubt it. Many are unable to see the plan I have. They do not know what I am doing. Their understanding is darkened, and they cannot see the light that I have placed within you and that you carry. I will open the eyes of some, and they will see, and they will recognize the call upon my people to minister life to the poor, sight to the blind, release to the captives. They will see and understand that I have loved you, called you, and chosen you for a great work. I will remove the blinders from their understanding, and they will begin to understand the depth and breadth of the call. They shall see that I have raised up many in this day who will not bow down to their idols and acknowledge them, but instead will expose them and bring judgment upon those who refuse to repent and turn from their wicked ways. I have chosen and raised up many who will proclaim the Lord's coming and who will execute justice in the earth by the authority of the Lord of hosts, who is Jesus, ruler of the nations. His kingdom is an everlasting kingdom that stretches from sea to sea. Every knee shall bow at his name, and every tongue shall confess that he is Lord to the glory of God the Father. Righteousness shall be the standard by which all men are judged. Only those who are found hidden in Christ will escape the wrath of God that is to be poured out upon the whole earth. Hear and understand the times. The eyes of the blind are being open, the deaf are hearing, and the dead are being raised from their graves. This is the day of the Lord. It is burning like a fire to purify the elect and bring in the harvest of the earth. This is the day of the resurrection of the dead into everlasting life. At the appearance of the Lord shall be scoffers and mockers. These are unable to see or hear, and they are bound in death cloths. They are unable to discern the times. They are unrepentant of heart and will have no part in in the resurrection, for they refuse to open their eyes and ears. They refuse to turn from their wicked ways, to repent of their fornication and adultery with the world. There shall be a great falling away, for everyone whose name is not written in the book of life shall be revealed in this day, and only those whose names are written will go on into everlasting life. Open your eyes to the harvest, see that the fields are ripe, the sickle has gone out, and the wheat is being separated from the chaff. Great tribulation and trial is about to be released upon the earth. Everyone who calls upon the name of the Lord shall be saved. Cry out to the Lord, seek him while he may be found, for soon the doors to the ark of the Lord shall be closed, and the flood waters shall wash away the ungodly. I stand at the door and knock. To whomever opens the door, 
I shall come in and sup with him, says the Lord. This word today is a very strong and serious word, but we know that it is a fulfillment of God's written word to come to the earth and bring his justice. And we know, too, that at that time there will be scoffers and mockers, those who persecute the church of Jesus Christ, those who outwardly rebel against the Lord. In the world we live in today, we see that happening. But the Lord is stepping in to separate those who are the scoffers and mockers, from those who put their trust in God. He is bringing in the harvest in this day, and it has already begun. He has released the power of his anointing to many of those whom he has been preparing for this day. He is snatching many out of the hands of the enemy, saving them, healing them, and delivering them from the strongholds of the enemy. And so his hand of justice has gone forth into the earth. His sword and his sickle have been released. Jesus is coming in power and might to bring justice to the nations. And we can expect to see a great upheaval even within the church of God as the Lord deals with the injustices that have taken place even amongst his elect, not willing to lose any of the harvest at the expense of those who would be a stumbling block. This word today is a strong word, but it is the written word being fulfilled. And to an extent, it is a response to the cries of the people. God is a loving God, and he desires that none should perish. And so when he executes his judgment and his justice, we can be sure that it is perfect. If there are those who are indecisive about giving their hearts and lives to the Lord, this may be the time to make that commitment as the Lord brings justice in the earth. Thank you all for listening today. Have a great afternoon, and we'll see you again in the next video. Love and blessings in the name of the Lord. Bye for now.